All right, traders, to watch this video here for Friday, November 12th. The SPY, um, kind of a narrow range today. It was actually another boring day, but we did have some neat stuff in the chat room. I'll go over a couple of highlights before I go into the watch list. EVGO, um, 16, 20, let me go to five minute candles here. Hold on, I've got after hours on. I was trading that MITQ um, in after hours, so bear with me a second. All right, so EVGO, uh, John M.E. in chat put out the idea of red to green. So I'll show you what it looked like. Uh, you know, it's curling up here. Red to green would be back through the open the way we define it in our chat room. This says 1625. Um, it, it had a different number on my level too, but and it was somewhere around 1625, 1630 with the high of day uh, above 1649 and yesterday's high above that and the day before that high above that. So we had, we had what we call stat catalysts. Um, so John M.E. posted the red to green idea. I also posted just the high of day breakthrough, the half idea. Either one worked really well, and it went to 1958 from either the 1626 entry, 1629, somewhere around there, that John, I, John gave or the 1650 entry that I gave. Either way, um, it was just a really, really nice mover. Um, R.I.V.N. Kevin M. Let's go to five minute candles here. Kevin M. just called a red to green on this one. Um, which would be through the open again, which is through um, one fourteen sixty ish somewhere around there, which, which you can see the trigger right there, um, and it ended up going all the way to one twenty five. So that was a neat call. AGC um, fifteen. I just you know this was literally flagging below fifteen. It hit fifteen earlier, tight range. I just gave the fifteen break idea with stat catalyst above there too. And ended up going out at the highs. Um, pretty strong move there. So there's a few highlights. I'll also mention uh, NUZE. I think I'm 800 today just trading this thing on pullbacks. Um, I don't know if I officially put an ID in the room or not. I can't remember. But NUZE, uh, very, very strong today. Um, what else? Oh, Ride. I mentioned R-I-D-E. Topped out early at 675. If you watched my watch list video last night, you already knew this one was on watch. Uh, so I just called it over that three-quarter number, over 675. And my best sell, I think, was maybe 715 or something like that. So it was a neat little trade. Uh, I was risking 20 to 30 cents, something like that. So that was a neat little trade. Anyway, they reported after hours, and it looks like right now they're trading at 609. So maybe I can pull that off the list for tomorrow. Um, it's not looking so good in after hours. Um... That's it. Uh, that's what the, the mentions I wanted to give. Um, EVGO. What are we watching for tomorrow? Uh, that's not even on the list. That's extended. Um, I'm sitting here looking at the result. Anyway, EVGO, certainly very strong, but to me, it's just too extended. I do have it on a chart, but I don't want it to be on the list. Let's start. You know what? I'm going to start with Ride, but now I don't know that it belongs on the list because it's trading at $6.12. I think I am just going to back that one off. So let's start with SOPA, which... I probably shouldn't even be, I watch this thing trade and it's just stupid whippy. Um, but it stayed in its opening, I don't know, opening 60 minute range today all day. And it's made some crazy moves the first two days it's been trading. So I would call today kind of a day of rest, narrow range. I don't know. I'm going to caution you on it. It's, it's stupid whippy and stupid spready, but um, it's made some monster moves. So I'm going to keep it on a chart, but I really doubt um, that I'll trade it. N-U-Z-E ended up closing about the middle of its range, maybe above the middle of its range today, um, but massive volume. Their product ending up in Walmart stores, I believe was the headline. So definitely want to keep an eye on that for maybe a red to green or something like that tomorrow. M-U-L-N got some nice volume today. Uh, it's not really near breakout territory, but the range today was 983 to 1372. That's a huge move before closing out at 1260. Right now it's trading in after hours over 13. So I want to keep an eye on that one. P-U-B-M, had the gap up, sold off, sucked in some shorts maybe, now it's curling right back up. So I put this on long watch. P-T-R-A, had the gap up, went down for a couple days, and now curling back up, so I want to watch that one. Uh, B-B-B-Y, um, which is Bed Bath & Beyond, uh, had the big gap up here, sold off, and uh, I think Citron may be bullish on it. Uh, popped it up to 2405 here, and it's going sideways and then starting to curl back up. So I want to keep a close eye on that one. VLTA, VLTA, another charging stock, EV charging stock. Nice pop today. We're going to see if that one, um, you know, can maybe challenge these recent highs tomorrow. 
N-E-G-G. -G. Kind of a sleeper pick, but I love this pop. Two-day pullback and starting to curl back up. And I love the fact that it, oh, never mind. I thought it topped out at 17. Uh, went through 17, 17, 12. So I love this through 17 tomorrow, um, knowing that 17, 12 is another catalyst. And then you look to the left, there's a couple other catalysts above. So I, I like the looks of this one. Um, R-O-O-T. Nice breakout today on earnings, but closing well off its highs. Still going to keep it on a chart. N-K-L-A. <clears throat> Had the pop up here. Looked like it was rolling back over and pretty much straight sideways since. So I want to keep an eye on that one. S L. GG had a nice pop back here sideways and starting to curl up. Kind of feels like a theme for this. And then lastly, um, MITQ, which is an ugly chart, but in after hours right now, it's trading at 384, gapped up on earnings. Uh, this high back here was 346, <clears throat> excuse me. So, <clears throat> and it did break above four uh, for a little bit in, uh, in after hours. So anyway, certainly a gapper to watch. And I'm going to leave it at that. We'll see everybody in the chat room in the morning.